pick for Rob, like we were talking about before. Uh, we're going to see what Fawn has to pick, and it is going to be Bayonetta. Should be interesting. It should be interesting, indeed. All right, here we go. Wow. Ooh, all right. Fawn just coming in before before we have a chance for anything. Already looking for that up tilt, but not finding anything out of it. You know, Bayonetta going to be pretty good in this matchup. Just, you know, like we were saying before, if you have a combo route, it, yes, on Rob. It, it's going to work. It works on Rob. And honestly speaking, I think Rob's and Bayonetta's do agree that Rob kind of struggles in this matchup, honestly. One of Bayonetta's like biggest like neutral tools is just like ABK out of nowhere, and you can avoid that if you're kind of short and kind of far away, but Rob can't avoid that from any distance. Yeah, no, Rob's, Rob's absolutely going to be getting clipped. And on top of all that, Bayonetta can kind of just witch time gyro sitting on the floor. So if Rob is too close, well, that's it. Yep. Ooh, not able. Wow, to what, a pick up. what a pickup! What a pickup! The intentional resets coming out from Fawn. Missed uh, the combo? I got who, it anyway. Uh, who is uh, player one. We do, we are missing our... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I, was, I was still setting things up. You're good. Ooh, these down Doing tilt some. strings. Doing Here's some housekeeping. Fawn off stage. Able to make it back using that triple jump. Ooh. Oh. an extension and Dill out of gas. I think spent a little bit too much on the uh, on the edge guard attempt. Fawn just able to to poke Dill right off. And for another edge guard. Oh my oh! god! In the three stock coming out that. from Fawn. That was a three. Oh my that god! That was a three stock. Bayonetta is in Super Smash Brothers. Bayonetta three coming out this October. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, this set is just an advertise. This was <laughs> such a cool pickup though. Holy smokes! Mm -hmm. Like she missed her ABK and was just like, nah. I'm going to follow that and get you anyway. That was a two-frame right there. And Dill's out of fuel. Yep, Dill out of fuel that time. This one. This was the, the witch twist into down air. So yeah, cool. second witch twist doesn't knock you away. So there you go. Yep. There it is. All right, we'll see how Dill can adjust to this. Jesus, I haven't even... I'm not done, like, doing <laughs> things. Slow down, guys. Three, two, one. Fight. So I'm not trying to make this match last long at all. Well, you know what they say. They can't win if they're dead all the time. They, they do say that. <laughs> Great patience coming out from Fawn. Just, you know, really waiting to make sure no. that they were able to get oh. that get that neutral win. Oh. And oh, messed it up. No, that's so unfortunate for Fawn. Not able to make it back, even with the uh, even with the wall fling. I'm a little surprised. I guess just completely out of resources. Uh, Fawn ended up using both Witch Twists, that's why. Gyro at ledge again. Fawn able to make it back, but just right back into the forward air is coming out from Dill. Has to find their way back into center stage once again. And really just not finding it. You know, as soon as Dill found herself a place in advantage, it's it's been Dill's game. It's been Dill's game and Fawn's just living in it. <laughs> Okay, I like the idea there from Fawn to down throw the gyro. Not able to find... Oh, I respect that witch, twist, witch time attempt. All right, downward ABK, keeping Fawn safe there. Ooh, this might... No, okay, I, I, I misread Not the quite. radar. Just completely read the spot dodge there. Fawn able to... Get us back to even stocks, but Dill might be finding another one relatively soon. Oh, I love, I love what Dill did right there, feigning going high that time and just fast falling as soon as Fawn uh, exhausted their options. Not quite able to uh, which time the gyro there. I think Dill might have been a little bit far away for it to actually uh, activate on her. So another great conversion. Put things into even percents. And now Fawn potentially getting another edge guard. All right, 
not able to find anything off of the first Witch Twist. But all of these Witch Twists are, you know, eventually going to keep, uh, or just get rid of all of Dill's fuel. But she is able to make it back into center stage. Now, this is where we saw Dill really destroy Fawn in the first stock. Ooh, Boom! Just, and there we oh. go. Fawn's taking it back. Yeah, Vaughn doing some great adaptations here at the oh, ledge. That's probably it, yeah. Yeah, no, Boom. Bane at a light. She's, she's not living that one. I don't think anyone's living that at 170, even on Kalos. Vaughn taking a minute to compose themselves on the Angel platform. You know, I really feel like Vaughn just does not want to take Dill to a game three after seeing you know, the adaptations that we're seeing in game two and the sort of shift in momentum between games one and two. Uh, and we've seen just so much damage coming out. Fawn potentially looking to close this out now, but a little too much. I do like the way that Fawn... Very good. Very good stuff. Finally getting the Witch Twist on the Gyro. Sorry, I was downing a bunch of water. You're good. Oh, please tell me I didn't miss the fist bump. No, I missed the oh, fist bump. Tragic. I'm a bad streamer. I was guzzling a whole bottle of water. <laughs> But no, great stuff coming out from Fawn. Yeah. Taking it 2-0 over Dill. Even with a, an SD at zero? Yeah. That felt like such a random F smash, but it ended up working out for Fawn. I mean, it's it's big. It is. It do it's be got big. Bad, it may have bad frame data, but it's ginormous. So if you have sort of a read on where they're going to be, you can just use it. Also, one of the buffs to Bayonetta, because you know she's gotten buffed many times, mm -hmm. uh, they made that forward smash more active. So it is really good to just throw out. It catches ledge options. Yeah, and right there, we did see Fawn uh, <laughs> use the, the bullet arts to try and keep themselves a little bit more safe and ended up taking the stock for it, getting the witch time off the gyro.